Hello hackers, welcome back. This is Rogue SMG and today let's do some docking. Okay guys, now this video is going to be just a bit different and I'll show how I personally try to learn things, what's the thought process that goes around and maybe just a little bit of spoon feeding for you guys. Also this is probably the last video on this series. I'm planning to do another one but I'm not quite sure, sure yet. But anyways, this is like maybe the last second or the last video in this series. So please go watch the previous videos and then come back so that you just don't keep wondering what the is going on throughout the video. With that said, now we have a very good amount of data. I guess I can barely fit everything on the screen right here. So yeah. Now the next thing which we want to do is dorking. And don't get afraid. Dorking is just a fancy word for advanced search. Nothing else. And we will mainly focus here on Google and GitHub docking. And as I said, dorking is nothing but just advanced search. So using Google Docs, we could potentially find very juicy information and very unique information as well. For example, we could search for files having only a specific extension, for example, JavaScript or .css or .env, anything like that. Or maybe we could try to find URLs with a certain parameter in them. Or maybe we could try to find URLs having a certain title in them and all other crazy things that might pop into your head right now. We can do that using Google Docs. So what is the concept here and how does it work? Well, it's the same as we talked in the previous video about URLs that everything that ever appears on the internet gets logged somewhere. And it wasn't supposed to be public but ended up being public somehow. Or it is public but the organization has no idea that it is public or anything like that. And this is what we are going to take advantage of to find unique and specific information about our target. And I know this is getting lengthy and boring. So let's just... Okay, now imagine I have no clue about talking and I want to learn about docking. What is docking? I have no idea about that. So what's the first thing that I do? Yes. Google Okay, very smart. Just go through the links. The first link which appears on Google is probably the best link or the most visited link. That is why it is first, obviously. So let's open that up. If you are more of a visual person, go through the videos. Try to find, try to look at, you know, two to three videos and try to understand what is going on, what is happening, anything like that. So this is Google hacking database and we can see lots of different kinds of syntaxes for something but this doesn't make quite sense from the perspective of someone who has no idea about docking right just keep it open let's look at another website and here google docking also known as google hacking the technique blah 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 it's basically advanced google search as i said but this is how you should try to find information just google it just just google it yes Everything you need is probably out there. Everything you want to learn. There are amazing and insane people who have done lots of research on stuff you can't even imagine. And all the information is right there out for you. You just need to find out. And you just need to actually absorb that information. That is the main thing. Just go through this. I won't probably read each and everything on the page if I'm trying to look for something specific or if I'm in maybe a hurry. Well, you should not be in a hurry. But anyways, and if you are not satisfied with the result yet, why not? You got some GitHub links, you got Medium links, you got some extra links as well. So just go through it, guys. As I said, all the information is right there. You just need to look for it and absorb that information. So this was the spoon feeding thing which I was talking about. I of course know, you obviously know Google exists and you obviously know this is how you can find information. But why am I telling this to you? Because I have been at that point. I know that everything is out there, but I am just too lazy to search for it maybe or want someone to actually tell me what is going on so I don't have to read everything. But there's no shortcut. Read it, 
understand it execute it that's the thing that's the way to go there is no shortcut and this was how i try to learn things and probably you try to learn things as well it was just a small reminder that before you ask anything to anyone just google it now back to the topic google docs this is some random site see basically what google docs is there are some operators there are queries which you could use to find information for example let's say in url responsible disclosure url so what in url means is this thing should be a part of the url itself so as you can see in the left corner below slash responsible disclosure is part of the url and that is why we are seeing only those links which have responsible disclosure in them or something related to responsible disclosure in them and this is how we can actually find some external programs for some bug bounties as well another one is maybe you could try something like this this is just a regex star dot means match anything that comes before del and match anything that comes after del as well so anything that contains del any website that contains del in it will be shown in the google results so as you can see it's www.del.com and all different parts for that now what we can do is now as you see minus www means it excludes all the results which has www in them for the url so there are no results with www www no www no results with www similarly we can see blog.del.com i.del.com now we can remove i we can remove blog and see now download.del.com info.del.com this is one way we could find some more unique subdomains for our target now another thing we could also try to search for specific file types file type maybe log and so what it will do is it will only find the log files and try to find the word password in it so all the dot log files which are publicly accessible anywhere will be fetched and it will be search for the keyword password in it so as you can see there's something see it's it's a log file some other url maybe not mm -hmm. maybe not see we can see logs we could find passwords and we could get crazy here maybe api underscore key and you will see api key is equal to this you will see lot of interesting results and maybe you can do file type env db underscore pass you will see dot environment files lead see the user root pass this of course don't try to get into the sites which you have no permission for or you could land in trouble and will get toe bounty on nothing why would you want to do that stupid right so please don't do that only try to do such things on the targets you have specific permissions from that is about google docking and there are lots of docs as you can see in the google hacking database this is a special kind of database where all the unique docs which someone might have found or someone might have put together are all present here and we can see there are like almost 6000 entries which contains different kind of things maybe some unit gear login page in url client is called login stuff like that i'll post the link in the description you can check it out it's kind of limitless you will actually be amazed by the amount of you can find using google docs try them out Now the next thing is GitHub docking. It's basically the same thing. We are trying to find any sensitive information that might be committed or pushed accidentally by an organization or by someone in the organization on GitHub, and that's basically it. Let's try to see some basic GitHub docs. Then do something like tell API underscore key as simple as this, and check for the code. You will see all the commits. or all the places or all the code where you can find api underscore key or whatever keyword you have specified here you can also do something like password and you will see all these repositories where somewhere del is mentioned or it's a part of del we'll have to confirm that first but somewhere where del is appeared and password is also appeared as a keyword it will fetch us all the repositories and there may be password leaking or username leaking something like that we can also try some complex things like 
I am config. It will show us all the config files. Config, config. And there might be sensitive information in config file. That's another thing. Can also try environment files. Find all the environment files. You could also try extension as well. Extension. PHP. So all the files which end in PHP or which are of the type PHP are fetched to us. And there might be information disclosure in any of those. If there are any passwords or any API keys or any sensitive information that is leaked and which should not be publicly available, easy win. As always, go report it. And as you can see, this is just any random site. I'll post the link in the description for you to see. There are so many GitHub docs available just like Google Docking and you could mix match and try a lot of them or maybe even try or make up your own. As you can see, extension SQL, MySQL dump, lots of things you can try. So this was the manual way for GitHub docking. Now coming to the automated part of docking for GitHub, there are again so many tools. Some of those are GitHound, GitHub Docs, GitRob and many more. But the one I personally have tried out is GitHound. And let's see. Now this tool will try to dig in the repositories of any organization or any users that we specify and try to find any sensitive information inside of those and throw the result back to us. It also searches in all the commits, all the files. There are so many options that you can play with and let's just see how it works. You can always read this out for yourself. I'll post the link in the description. So here is my VPS and this is all the data that we have until now for dell.com well ignore the lang.txt that is just something i tried now this is an example syntax for githound you can echo a single subdomain or you could try to provide the file containing subdomains as well using githound and these are just some flags to further improve the efficiency of the tool so let's just try to run it see it found something HTTP postman token is this maybe it searches for the keyword token and also found some CSRF token again I don't think this is interesting but this is just an example of stuff you can find so let's just pause it for now and that's it this was all about github docking and normal docking as well and congrats to you now you know a f lot about recon and hacking up bounties in general and you are no longer an absolute beginner. And the next series is going to be all about what to do with this recon data, how to move forward with it, how to do some actionable things around with it. So hang in tight, keep hacking, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, and of course, like and subscribe. Thank you so much.